Good day, good evening, and good afternoon, sneaky folks. So today, the Modern Warfare 3 beta is coming to a close, and for the short time that we had on there, it was enough time to highlight the sort of experience that us ninjas may have when the game eventually releases next month. Now, don't get me wrong, I didn't put a lot of time into Search and Destroy when the beta was here, and that's because, of course, the beta fell on one of the busiest weekends of my year. I managed to get a couple of ninja defuses off, so we'll start off by showing you those. Can't do anything. Uh, my whole Mate, game what? is fucking steep and <laughs> I literally just fucking played it. So yeah, they weren't anything too wild, but with there being new maps to traverse and new spots to find, it's going to really take some time before we get the real juicy ninja defuses. But in the short time I did play, I did encounter a few notable things. The first of all, it's got to be the full name thing. For some reason, the devs thought it would be a great idea to replace the red dot above enemies' heads from MW2 and replace it with the full name, which obviously massively increases our chances of being visible and spotted when we are propped up ready to go for the defuse. This could easily be countered by hardcore mode for sure, but this is something that would just have to be ironed out when the actual game releases. The next thing is possibly the best thing we could have hoped for as ninjas, and that is the return of the ninja perk, which is also now known as the Covert Sneakers. This means you don't have to sit around waiting for dead silence anymore, and you can move a lot more freely causing chaos in these lobbies. The next relatively big issue that I think we may find is the cheeky little peak spots. Now there has already been a couple exploited in the beta already, I've died countless times in this exact position on high rise, but there also seems to be a spot in skid row that captures a lot of victims early on in a round 2. It makes finding those little spots to hide a little bit harder. The final thing that I think is worth noting is the sound of the keypad when planting or diffusing. It's really loud. In previous titles, this has been so quiet you can barely hear when someone is planting, but now it's plain as day from a fair distance away. But you've got to remember, if you can hear them planting, they'll hear you diffusing. The fuck off the bomb. Don't try and ninja diffuse. Why does this keep happening to me? but they can definitely hear you diffusing, which is what happened at the end of this ninja. They heard me tapping away, but luckily I managed to get it done in time. So all in all, I think there's been a few pros and a few cons to the updates to Search and Destroy, but overall, I think when we were able to combine perks and get on our ghillie suits, we're going to have a much more enjoyable time when it comes to ninja diffusing. But for now, we're going to head back to Modern Warfare 2 and hopefully get one last ninja diffusing montage out before this game releases. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. Have a truly wonderful day, and I hope to see you in the next one.